Oh, now you're working. <sighs> Hello, welcome to my very first video log post, I think. I've decided that I want to have a video log of some sort, or just make video posts to my other internet logs. And since I can do that now with my um, not so brand new little camera right there, huh. um, as my old friend This was cooler when I conceived of it. I cannot make appropriately sized. Oh, wait. So, I'm looking, it's like in the mirror. I'm gonna have to cut pieces of this. So, as my old friend Lampbane used to say, we can build it. We have the technology. I did not do that justice. Maybe I should cut that part too. Well, maybe I won't cut any of it. So, this is my room, or parts of it. You can see my coats and some books and a cup of tree. Not like trees, just tre um So there is this old tree in my neighborhood, and I used to pass by it from time to time. Almost every day, sometimes multiple times. And um, they came to cut it down one day. And I just uh, sort of went outside and no more tree. But there was like bark and shavings and little pellet shaped pieces of wood and so I saved some of them in a cup then I covered that cup with another cup and I put an index card on it um, explaining it uh, so that's what that little right there this cup thing with another cup on top of it is and then here's my computer um, that's a very old one this is I'm sure incredibly entertaining for all of you um, but I'm going to stop. So, I got this lovely book today, and this also, this lovely book, is this one. It's by Deleuze, about Foucault. See, not like by Foucault, about Deleuze. Deleuze was something of a nut job, so, of course his book is ambiguously arranged with three different fonts and sizes for two people's names to lose for you. This guy, I'm, I'm still going to have to work out displaying things for people because I haven't quite got the flipped mirror image thing down. Anyway, so Henning Menkel um, is um, Swedish or Norwegian or something. Anyway, um, someone on Language Log really likes this guy and said that I should read the Kurt Wallander Mysteries, and I picked this up at the book store. Um, actually, so uh, uh, also this one, which I got for free as a bonus, um, and the essential Jung. I feel like Jung doesn't get a fair shake. I've always liked Jung. Um, ever since I read the Deptford Trilogy by Robertson Davies, which I read because Robertson Davies was mentioned in a song. Um, Cuddle Up with Robertson Davies, Leave on the Light. I'm not going to start singing. That's what I will spare you on this blog. This isn't going to be a video lyrics post. Um, what was I saying? You people... Oh, right, Niles. See, what I didn't realize when I used to watch Frasier was that Frasier was a Freudian and Niles was a Jungian, and so they would have interesting little snippy contests from time to time, especially on Halloween. Um, and, um... Well, uh, you know, I don't know. I always had a little bit more in common with Niles being sort of a finicky and particular individual. Um, 
although many of you know me more like Frasier because now I am sort of garrulous and spend lots of time in bars saying cheers and norm, um, although usually when I say norm I'm talking about like <laughs> gender norms or heteronormative as opposed to like a, a dude named norm. <sighs> So anyway, um, my friend, um, I'm going to do this right this time, G-Monger used to go to this bookseller. It's right outside Hunter College, and um, he's a very nice gentleman, and he sells used books um, for less money than you would pay for them in a bookstore if you bought them new, but more money than you would pay for them if you got them for one cent plus three ninety five should be in handling on Amazon. So... Um, weighing the merits, uh, it's nice to just be able to go outside on a lovely, nice day and browse the books right next to the hot dog um, stand. It's actually not a hot dog stand. It's like they sell like kebab, and it's not really a. I mean, it stands, but it's like a big wagon, almost. It's not like a cart. Like a cart is like a smaller. Like you almost think of like a cart as being something that's like, you know, car sized or smaller. Whereas like a wagon is like, you know, I don't know, like a station wagon is like a smaller even version than I mean this thing is, is very large. That's my point. I, could, I guess I could have just said that it was big. Um it's a big kebab booth wagon. Alright, that's gonna be the end of this. So, um, thank you all for paying attention, or ignoring when appropriate, and, um...